Hey everyone, thanks for checking out this video. What we're going to do today is install the Pixel Cave software and show you how to configure it. So from your browser, just go to pixelcave.org and just scroll down a little bit until you see this green download button. And uh, we're, we're doing the Windows download right now. If you were on a Raspberry Pi, you'd go over here and download the Pi version. Uh, this is a big file, it's about 160 megs, we'll just give it a minute to download. Okay, so let's go ahead and double click this to launch. You can get this message, don't worry about this, just hit there and hit run anyway. Now what, what it's going to do is it's first going to look to see if you have a program called LED Blinky installed. And if you don't, it's going to go ahead and go out to that server and download LED Blinky. It's going to get the latest and greatest. So that's what it's doing right now. And we use LED Blinky with Pixelcade to help us integrate with the various arcade front ends. So really big thanks to uh, Dennis over at LED Blinky for his help in getting all this set up. So I like to install LED Blinky in a, um, a same arcade folder that we have all your other stuff. So in this case, I have all my things here, ROMs, emulators, etc., in this arcade folder. So I'm just going to stick it there. Okay, so once that's done, I can go ahead and install Pixelcade. Now, most people are going to have a two-panel installation, so just take the default. But if you happen to have one-panel Pixelcade install, then just pick one panel. This is telling us that if you're on Windows 10, you don't need to worry about the driver for the Pixelcade board. But if you're on Windows 7, you will need to install that driver, which will be in this driver subdirectory. Okay, um, It's going to default. It's going to know that we installed LED Blinky in this folder. So it's going to uh, ask us to install it in the same folder. I'd recommend to keep them together. It just makes it cleaner. So the first thing we want to do is we want to go to your control panel settings or device manager. Now, if you're on Windows 7, in fact, let me just simulate this. So this works on Windows 10 too. So you just a little shortcut here, devmgmt.msc for device management. And that will take you to this familiar screen. And go under ports. Now, I actually have two called USB serial device because I also have the sub display accessory set up, but most people aren't going to have that. So I know in this case that my Pixelcade board is on COM6. So basically just look for USB serial device Look for the COM port. Once I've got that, then what you want to do is go over here, find um, your Pixelcade folder that was just installed, which is right here, and then go ahead and get Pixelcade settings. And so we're going to say COM6. And um, now most people won't have this, but again, I have the sub display accessory installed, so I'm gonna hit yes for that. I know that's on COM3, but again, most people won't have that, so don't worry about that. I'm also gonna put yes for this. And so what this setting means is that with Pixelcade, you can write an image. So when you exit the front end, the image or last animations you wrote to the board is gonna cycle. So this just means that when I initially start up the front end, that, that image will play or animation will play on start and then once Hyperspin or GameX or LaunchBox kicks in, then it's going to take over. And now what we want to do is we want to launch a thing called the Pixelcade Listener, which is always going to be running in the background. Pixelcade Listener. And this will show up over here and minimize. If I just click on it, you can see it's connected to Pixelcade, which is great. And in a minute here, it's probably going to connect to our sub display accessory right there. And again, don't worry about that because you won't have that. And then, very important, don't close it, leave it open because this has to be running in the background. So it's just going to run like that, minimize. 
And what we can do now is just do a test and see if we're communicating. So I'm going to go back to that Pixelcade folder, and then I'm going to click Browse Artwork. And so this is pretty cool. So from here, um, by default, it's going to scroll some text, which you can see right now. But if I go over here, I can browse some of the artwork I have. And uh, so it's not only a good way to just make sure Pixel Kit is working. So as you can see, as I'm clicking here, it's updating the marquees. But it's all you know. It's also a good way to to make sure. It's also a good way to browse and just kind of see all the artwork that's here. Um, I didn't include every single uh, marquee here, but a lot of the kind of my favorites, I guess, if you will, uh, are here. Now, what's also pretty cool is that um, we also have animations. So if I go over here to the animations one, let's see, let's pick one here. It's not too long. So uh, let's say I want to pick the casino one and just hit display. Okay, and that's going to show uh, an image. You can just kind of play with these. There's there's a lot of really fun ones here. Um, some of these are actually from a previous LD art project that I did, so I had a lot of these commissioned. Some of these are from um, pinball art, so there's a whole genre of, of pinball art. So, for example, this one here is pinball art. So, uh, a lot of fun ones. Now, if you want to write any of these, for example, let's see these Pac-Man ghosts. I'm going to hit the save button. And it's going to give me a little message saying that when I click this, the screen is going to blank out. So let the screen um, stay blank. Don't really click anything until the writing is done because now it's actually writing to the board and you don't want to interrupt that. And if you really want to see what's going on, you can actually click this guy and you can see each dot means we're okay. So that's done. Now it's displaying um, on the display. So that's a little bit about that. Um, so we've got all that. We know we're communicating to the board. Great. So the next thing we need to do is configure LED Blinky. And then we go to configure LED Blinky. As if you error messages will come up here, don't worry about that. We'll fix those here in a second. And what I like to do is just put this over here. And then let's just go ahead and launch another browser. And go to pixelcade.org again. And if you just scroll down a little bit, you're going to see the setup guide, which is right here. Pixel Gate for LED Blinky Install Guide. And to find it, the easiest way is just to put these windows side by side and just, just kind of go through it. Okay, so let's just go down this. So um, the first thing you want to do is, is tell your front end that you have LED Blinky installed. And so in our case, in this case, we're using um, Hyperspin. So I'm going to go to, let's see if we've got an icon for it. I'm going to go to Hyperspin HQ. And I'm going to click on Tools. And then, so I already have the right path. So I'm going to enable LED Blinky and tell it where LED Blinky is at. Uh, now, if I was on Launchbox, Let's just do that one real quick. I would go over here to Tools and Options, and then look for the LED Blinky. Same thing, enable it, and then just point it to the path. I uh, apologize, I don't have GameX Arcade on this uh, machine, but it's, it's very similar. All right, so let's go ahead and go back and just knock this out. Okay, so we've done our um, configuration of our front end. We've launched Configure LED Blinky. Now let's go over here to the front end tab. We want to tell it we're using Hyperspin. And then in front end options, we need to add a few parameters here. And um, at some point, I hope to automate this so it's a little less manual, but for now, just bear with me. And we're going to hyperspin options, demo game, game, demo game controls, 
and then this one. This one's very important, so don't forget that one. Uh, you may get funny results if that's not there. Okay, that one, I'm not sure what that is. We'll just leave that alone. I don't think we need that one, actually. The main tab. Okay, so here, um, first thing we need to do is tell what our main configure folder is. So I'm going to go here, emulators, main, CFG, so that's easy. Um, and then we need a file called main.xml. And so this one you'll have to generate manually, which again is a little bit of a pain, so sorry about that. Um, so this one we're going to need to do a command line. So I'm going to go here, cmd, get a command prompt. Let's make this a little smaller. Okay. And so that's the command that you want to do over here. So let's go to that file again where our name is installed. So it's in the emulators name. And I, I actually already have the file here, so I'm just going to delete it. Delete main.xml, and we'll just do it again. So our command is main.exc list xml, pipe that to main.xml. And just give this a little bit. It's actually quite a big file that it has to generate. Okay, so now we can get out of here. And then we just need to tell OD Blinky where that file is. So back to here, emulators, main, main.xml. Okay, so again, I know that's a pain. Sorry about that. So let's keep going. Audio we're not using. You may get an error message, so don't worry about that. Okay, now, if you're just using LED Blinky with Pixelcade only, then you want to hit no LEDs mode. If you're using LED Blinky with animating your LED buttons, then you don't want to check this. And then uh, let's turn this off and let's make sure our debug log is also unselected. Okay, so now we're going to go to the integrations tab. And so we need to turn on Pixelcade and then tell it where Pixelcade is installed. So if you remember, we put it in the arcade here. And now we just go through these uh, extra screens here. Um, so text scrolling speed. The lower number means slower text scrolling. The faster number means faster text scrolling. And I found that two generally works pretty good. If you have a really fast computer, you may want to put that at one. Uh, but if you do any higher, it's just going to scroll way too fast. Okay, so this is a little startup message you can do. So I'm just going to say Al's Arcade but you can do whatever you want there. Just, um, when you launch your front end, it'll just scroll a little message across the screen. Okay, so let's just keep going through these tabs. Okay, this one I think is already defaulted for us, so we're okay. Nothing to do there. Okay, so that's just telling me I don't have the um, LED Blinky license yet. So we'll copy those files in a second. So right now, um, these first two tabs are on the free version, and then these other tabs are for the paid version. But we can go ahead and configure it and add the license file later. So this one is also OK. We don't need to do anything. So let's keep going. OK, this one I believe is also fine. Fine, meaning the defaults are OK. OK, so when we quit, we can also scroll the message. So we'll just say something like, thanks for playing. Um, this one's pretty nice. So if you're, um, I think most front ends have a, when the screensaver kicks in, so we can play a little animation. So I'm going to go over here and I'll say animation image. 
And if you remember that animations we were looking about at earlier, all those same files are here. So let's just pick the, the ghost ones. No, actually this one, Pac-9 is pretty fun. So that, that animation will play while your screensaver kicks in, while your front end is idle. Okay, and I think this is the last tab. So this is um, when you actually launch a game. And so I'm going to say now playing, and then we have a little variable game, and it's going to substitute the game name in there because I have those in tildes. And if you want to get fancy, you can, there's some other variables you can play around. You can put the, the game, the system, date, time. You can play around with that. And so that is it. Let's go ahead and close this. And now let's just do a test to make sure everything is working right. So I'm going to go ahead and launch Hyperspin. And then when you first launch, there's typically a little delay that can come up. Okay, so we're in, um, that's the splash screen that comes up for the free version of LED Blinky, so you can see that'll go away. Um, so why don't we do this? Let's go ahead and get out of here. And let's install that LED Blinky license. So if you get the paid version of LED Blinky, the moment it's 25 bucks, you will get emailed to you two license files. And so those files are right here. So you don't need to re-download the software or anything. You just copy these files into the same directory as your LED Blinky install, which was here. This goes in. Okay. So if we launch now, we should not get that splash screen. Okay. And so you see the Al's Arcade scrolling, that's what we set up. You can customize that to whatever you want. And then as I scroll through this, you can see the different uh, emulators here. And uh, let's just do a quick test. Let's go to main. Make sure this is okay. There's main. Okay, so let's just put the game. Let's say 1944. Okay, so it's going to say now playing 1944, and then show the marquee. Loading complete. Okay, so we're good. Let's exit out. And then if I exit, then it's going to say thanks for playing. And the colors will change randomly, that's what we set up. So that's pretty much it. Um, actually, I guess while we're here, we can do launch box, or big box. Let's just try that out real quick. That one should be good to go to, I think. Okay, so same thing, it's gonna scroll that startup message. And as I go through the front end, the marquee should update. Okay, and so let's just go ahead and pick another game. Okay, so same thing, now playing, and it switched to the marquee. So working on Launchbox as well. Get out of here. All right, that's it. Well, thanks for checking this out. That's how you install Pixelcade, uh, Pixelcade for Windows.